Nick. Time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. Commonwealth not an easy place to travel. sticking around here. ain't nothing but trouble. Put the damn gun down. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. 
Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall, near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hall, stranger. Don't fall off! If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Drill. Eyes peeled, everyone. The gate. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gophers. Oh, God. Defend yourselves! Ready Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. For your help when we needed it, you deserve this. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor is one of the only places left that's safe. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. 
No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know, as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide, old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Alan? The hole needs mending. Huh. The you mainlander. Know, it just don't build Great. itself. I need proper wood, steel, nails, the like. Hey, Alan. Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. I'm not here to pick a fight. You just don't understand. What happens next time when you ain't here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here, before the children of Adam or worse get you. What's your problem with the children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. Instead, we let them in. All in secret from wherever they're holed up, they've been feeding the fog. Getting it stronger. Strong enough to push us all out of our homesteads. Further and further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. You have any proof that they've fed the fog? Proof? 
wait for that, we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Look, in my daddy's time, the fog was a nuisance. Something you avoided. Now every day it gets stronger. It's like the fire's a hell out there. Because of the children. Show me what you got. Don't try anything.
getting anywhere till you toss something. Guns, guns, and more guns. <clears throat> Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. What's your story? Just a guy trying to make a few caps. Speaking of which, buying anything? Let's deal. Happily. Another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. Wait, no. <laughs> it's a mainlander. Well, welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctoring, speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. Who's Andre? Poor Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fall. You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but... We got our own special brand here. I know a few things about medicine. Can I try to help them? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. Well, I suppose there's no harm letting you have a poke. But I'll be watching you. Let's take a look. Mm. Mm. yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, lies, and vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd 
I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy. Took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since. Killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That will be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. The island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn, shame. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to pay. The fog is dangerous, okay? Hey, sweetie. What makes you think I want to talk to you? Hi there. Mariner. The hull took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. I'm the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Beside Captain Avery. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper. Make it strong. And keep those blasted crabs out. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get.
everyone. Everyone. We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths. Open your damned ears. So the fogs are coming for us all. And I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the house. Yeah. Time to party. You want a bite? Here's the Mitchell. I can take your order. Mitch. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya. Ha <laughs> ha. You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. So, drink up! You stay here over long and the fog will claim ya. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? What's so special about the fog on the island? Can you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's alive. You walk inland and it'll blanket you up in no time. And if the clickety click of the Geiger don't get you, the madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. The fog can drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. But many just got lost in the fog for too long, and the mind goes. If you have any sense, return where you came from, and don't look back. If it's so dangerous, why do you stay? This is our home. If you call yourself a proper man or woman, you don't give up on that. Besides, we all gotta die. Might as well do it with your long knife deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. Ha! Let's see what you have on tap. Plenty of selection. likes you. Here, kitty. <clears throat> you want a drink? What do you have to drink? All sorts of old world booze. We carry Vim, too. And before you ask, Vim is an islander favorite. But it may pack more punch than the stuff you're used to. I'm still deciding. Just flag me over if you need me. Perfect. 